synthetic division. First problem, x cubed plus 8x squared plus 17x plus 10 divided by x plus 1. Okay, so how are we going to divide this using synthetic division? So first, you really need to check if the dividend is already arranged in decreasing order. And as you can see, it is already arranged in decreasing order. And for us to identify what value of x are we supposed to use in the synthetic division, let's consider our divisor. So to check, so the value of x that we are going to use is negative 1 so here and next to that we need to get all the numerical coefficients used in our dividend so you are supposed to start with the leading coefficient and that is 1 next is positive 8 positive 17 and lastly for our constant is 10 and let's start so first you really need to bring down the first or the leading coefficient which is 1 and then after that you need to multiply it with the value of x which is negative 1. So 1 times negative 1 we will have negative 1 and take note the first product that you um, will be able to get must be aligned to the second numerical coefficient always. So here, since we do have 8 and negative 1 already, we need to combine that and that will be positive 7. And after that, just repeat the process by simply multiplying it to the value of x which is negative 1. So 7 times negative 1, negative 7. Next, you combine again 17 plus negative 7, you will have positive 10. And multiply again to the value of x which is negative 1 so 10 times negative 1 negative 10 and lastly since it's the last numerical coefficient so that means it is the last operation that you are supposed to apply so 10 plus negative 10 is 0 and the rightmost value that we always um, get in our synthetic division is considered as our remainder so as you can see here our remainder is zero and of course if you are asked to find out the depressed polynomial or depressed expression you just simply consider this pattern of course if you do have here the remainder next to that is our constant next numerical value and next to our um, constant um, applying the pattern in increasing order next to constant is the linear um, expression and the next to that is quadratic or x squared so to make this a polynomial you just simply combine or plug in the the specific variable to the numerical coefficient at the upper portion so 1 and x squared so it will be x squared 7 and x so it will be 7x and of course for constant you just simply write the 10 or positive 10 so therefore this one x squared plus 7x plus 10 is our depressed polynomial and since our remainder here is 0 you can also say that x squared plus 7x plus 10 is already our quotient as well okay but take note if you still have um, remainder then x squared plus 7x plus 10 is not yet the final answer or the quotient but rather a depressed polynomial only now let us have our second example okay for our next example we have this x raised to the fourth power minus 5x squared plus 5 divided by x minus 2. first step is checking if the dividend is arranged in decreasing order so as you can see yes it's arranged already and for our divisor we need to get the value of x for us to use in the synthetic division and with this we will have positive 2 
and next to that is getting all the numerical coefficients of our dividend. But I would like you to consider this as you can see in our dividend the pattern is not complete or there's something missing. As you can see we don't have x raised to the third power and a term with a variable x as well. So with that, this is what you are supposed to do. So first and foremost, you get the numerical coefficient of the first term, which is 1 in this example. And since we don't have a term with x raised to 3, so what you are supposed to do is you are going to put 0 if there's a missing representation in the pattern and that is x raised to 3 there's none so of course we're supposed to put a 0 and next to that x squared is the numerical coefficient is negative 5 and as you can see we don't have a term with variable x as well so we are going to put a 0 again and lastly the constant which is positive 5 now it's complete so we cannot proceed with our addition and multiplication in our synthetic division. So first and foremost, bring down the leading coefficient, which is 1. Then multiply with 2, so it's 2. Then combine 0 plus 2, we will have 2. And then again, multiply 2 times 2, we have 4. And then combine again, negative 5 and 4, we will have negative 1. Then multiply again, negative 1 and 2, we will have negative 2. And combine again 0 plus negative 2 we will have negative 2. And lastly, negative 2 times 2 we will have negative 4. And for us to get the remainder, only add the 5 and negative 4. Then our remainder is 1 this time. Okay, so for you to find out the depressed uh, polynomial, so you just simply... Um, plug in or attach the variables needed in our numerical coefficients right here. So, of course, next to remainder is our constant and x, x squared, and x raised to the third power. So, you can also use the idea of looking at the dividend x raised to the fourth power and therefore, your depressed equation must be one degree lower to the highest degree of the given polynomial or dividend. So, since it's x raised to the fourth power, expected that the depressed polynomial will be x raised to the third power. And as you can see, yes, we got correct answer, which is x raised to the third power plus 2x squared minus x minus 2. So, this is again our depressed polynomial if you're going to ask me if this is also our co quotient actually it's not yet because since we do have our remainder which is one so supposedly if you are asked to write the quotient the exact answer and that would be x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2 Plus, you need to plug in the remainder, which is 1. So, positive 1. Since it's positive 1, so you'll use plus as the operation to attach the remainder plus 1. And, at the same time, you need to put the divisor in the denominator of the remainder. So, that will become 1 over x minus 2. So, you should plug in that to the depressed polynomial that you got and that is the quotient already okay so for our third example so we have here 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 divided by 2x plus 1 okay so for our next example we do have 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 divided by 2x plus 1 so as you can see in our dividend, it is already arranged in decreasing order. Therefore, we cannot proceed with finding the value of x that we are supposed to use for our synthetic division afterwards. So here, 2x plus 1, you just simply equate it to 0 and then apply the properties 
of equation and there we have x equals negative one half so here so negative one half and we are supposed to list down the numerical coefficients used in our dividend so here we do have positive two positive three and positive one and let's do the operations so first and foremost bring down the leading coefficient which is two and then two multiplied to one half negative one half so we'll have two times the numerator two times one is two two divided by two is one so it should be negative one because positive times negative is negative so now 3 combined with negative 1 you will have positive 2 then 2 multiplied with negative 1 half again so we will have negative 1 and 1 combined with negative 1 we will have 0 and therefore our remainder is 0 and if you are asked to find the depressed polynomial of course next to our remainder is our constant and we have x so as you can see in our dividend the degree of our polynomial in our dividend is second degree so therefore our depressed polynomial will be one degree lower and that is x so plugging in or if you're going to attach the variable to our numerical coefficient we will have 2x plus 2 and this is our depressed polynomial if you're going to ask me as well if this is already our um, quotient actually as you can see we can still simplify this the same thing with what we did in our divisor a while ago wherein we simplified 2x plus 1 we simplified it into um, x plus 1 half wherein we use negative 1 half here so therefore if you're going to check we can also have 2x plus 1 if we're going to simplify that we will have we'll just simply divide both sides uh, both terms by 2 to get the simplest form of that so you will have x plus 1 and if you're going to multiply with 2x plus 1 the original um, divisor you will end up as well with 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 or if you're going to use the one that we um used a while ago the the simplest form of 2x plus 1 which is x plus 1 half wherein we use here negative 1 half so you multiply 2x plus 2 with x plus 1 half you will um, get as well same answer which is 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 so for checking actually but for now our the press polynomial equation will be 2x plus 2 but the simplest form of this is x plus 1 okay so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you learned out of this video and don't forget to subscribe